What's up, my form tree? How is everyone doing? Welcome back to our weekly class for June week three. Okay, today we are going to finish chapter six. Okay, there's only small parts of it left. Okay, today what are we going to learn? Today we are going to learn is TNB cheating your money. Okay, in short, we are going to learn how to calculate your electricity bill. All right. So uh, I know you have been not paying your electric bill for three months. So if it comes, you can actually use this method and calculate. Are they uh, really cheating your money? Okay, is the electricity bill being uh, calculated correctly? All right. So uh, only small part left here. I would finish this. Uh, this will be a very short video. Okay, because there's, because there's only a very short part here left. Okay, so uh, last week you also learned some calculation. I hope you still remember them. Okay, how do you calculate power? Okay, so today we are going to calculate cost of electricity. Okay, so common unit use. Okay, how do we calculate electric energy? In your house, we use something called KWH. Okay, which stands for kilowatt hour. So you might say, sir, why hour? Why not second? What is second? If you remember your form 2, you learned that uh, power is equal to work done. Okay, time, divide by time, and usually the time here is the unit of second. Okay, why not second? Because if you use any electrical appliances at home, shortest time will be minutes. Okay, let's say you use your water heater, your shower water heater, uh, it will be like 20 30 minutes. Okay, like for air cons, you use it for 8 10 hours, that's why using second is not practical. Okay, there will be a lot of zeros, there will be a lot of very hard to calculate. That's why we use KWH, okay, kilowatt hour. You go to the meter outside your house and see, you will see this thing, KWH, okay, KWH. And then every month, there will be this TNB guy standing there recording your uh, readings, and then they will put it into a machine, and then they will print the bill right at your doorstep, okay. Like I said, some very naughty people, they don't want to pay, so they just, you know, they did something to the meter so that it slows down when they use electricity. Don't do that. Okay, that is stealing. Okay, as bad as stealing. Because it is stealing. Come on. So alright, so how do we calculate this? Okay, so one kilowatt hour is the amount of energy. Uh the energy of use is one thousand because it's one kilowatt kilo means thousand like, like one kg is one thousand G. So one KW is one thousand W. Okay, one thousand watt in one hour. Okay, so in one hour, I use 1,000 watt means I use one unit of electricity, okay? So you are paying by unit. One unit use is how much and how much. Usually it's stated in your bill. If I'm not mistaken, one unit is 22 cent, okay? So let's calculate this. So 1KW is usually referred as one unit. So we pay per unit, okay? I hope we understand this. So uh, how do we calculate this? So total amount of electrical energy use cost per unit, okay? So let's try this question. A 2 kilowatt kettle takes 10 minutes to boil water, all right? Calculate the cost of electrical energy used to boil water if the rate per unit is 21 cent. So now, one unit is RM 0.21. This is one unit. So how many units did this kettle use? Okay, let's see. Okay, so uh, it's already 2 kilowatt here, so simple for you. But we use hour here, but here no hour, only 10 minutes. So how? Simple, 10 minutes is equal to 1 over 6 hour. Okay, because 1 hour is 60 minutes. So 10 minutes is 1 over 1 per 6 hour. La. I hope you understand this. Okay, basic uh, that's, uh, fractions. Okay, so to make KWH, we need to use KW times H. So I have 2KW here times 1 over 6 H hour. So you will get. 1 over 3 or uh okay or 0 0.33 kwh okay 0 0.33 unit so one unit is 21 cent so how much is 0 0.33 so 0. Uh, 21 cent times 0 0.33 uh you know let's get the calculator i'm too lazy to calculate this by heart uh hang on where's the hell is my calculator again uh okay so 0 0.21 times 0 0.33 you get 0 0.069 okay we should round it off to 0 0.06 0 0.07 
So you are paying seven cents to boil water, which is okay. It's not very expensive. So you might say, so then why is my electricity bill so expensive? Okay, what is the thing that you use most at home? A lot of people will say water heater. Okay, water heater is like two, three thousand watt. But you don't shower for long. You shower for what? 30 minutes? Okay. But the one you use for the longest time is what? It's your aircon. Okay. How much power is your aircon? Okay, let's assume your aircon is a one horsepower. What is horse one horsepower? One horsepower is around 750 watt. Okay, that is the old people way of saying wattage. They don't say 750 watt. They like to say one horsepower because easy man is one. Okay, so let's just assume this is your aircon. Okay, if this is two horsepower, it's a different story. Uh, you'll be paying differently because of course you're using more electricity. So let's just assume you have one aircon. Okay, that is a very optimistic way. Most of us have either at least two, okay? So we have one icon here, okay? And then um, let's just assume how long do you use it? Okay, you use it for eight hours per day, and then you use it for 30 days. Okay, because you sleep every day, so you switch it on every day, which is common. So how do you calculate this? Okay, this is a more realistic situation here. So how many hours here? 30 times eight, the whole month you're using it for? 240 hours okay so let's convert this thing to kilowatt you should get 0 0.75 kilowatt can okay, you have a 1000 okay so kilowatt times hour which is 0 0.75 times 240 okay so you should get 180 okay 180 kilowatt hour which means you are using it for 180 units Okay, so like I said just now, one unit is, let's, let's assume one unit is 21 cent, like just now. Okay, so 21 cent times 180. How much are you paying for the aircon? Let's see, 0 0.21 times 180. You are paying 37.8 bucks, 37 ringgit 80 cents. That is for one aircon. If you are switching on two, okay, times two, that will be... Uh, 75.6 so you're paying 70 something just for the aircon you have lights you have fans you have tv you have computer you have oven fridge washing machine water heater and so on that's why it will be two three hundred something is very common okay unless you don't have an aircon you are paying 70 70 something ringgit less okay but then again if you don't have an aircon it will be a very hard time to, 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 to be at home. Okay, unless you live in a jungle that's surrounded by trees, then your house will be very windy or you live uh very high ground. Okay? Else this is gonna it's gonna be super hot, okay? It's gonna be so unpleasant. Alright, so very easy. So ways to save electrical energy as consumption. How do you save electrical energy? Okay, we already gone through this last week. Okay, we use high efficiency appliances. Okay, like we use LED instead of fluorescent. Okay, so simple practice at home. Only wash your clothes when the washing machine is full to reduce number of usage, okay? The less you use it, the more energy you save, obviously. So, uh, no matter how many clothes you put into your washing machine, they are almost the same. So, why not just wash it in full load, okay? And then number two, switch off electrical appliances that are not in use, okay? common sense. Use LED bulbs, common sense. Unplug battery charger from socket after using common sense, okay? And then Energy Commission, okay, which is the Suruhan Jaya Tenaga, provides services such as ECOS, online system related to any energy efficiency for the use of industries and business that apply concept of energy conversion such as green building. So what is green building? Okay, this is the two green buildings we have in Malaysia. Okay, so green building means they create uh, very little waste. Okay, they have a level that you need to hit. Okay, if you hit that level means you are green building. Okay, so Efficient ventilation system. When you have ventilation system, your building is very windy, so you reduce fan and air conditioning. Okay, this is like a passive way to save electricity. Like I told you last week, if your window is facing north or south, you are switching on your aircon less because when the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, you don't face the you don't face the uh, the sun, so your house is less likely to get hot. So you are less likely to switch on your aircon and fan. Okay, in in indirectly you are saving electricity. Okay, so that's the way to do it. All right, and then maximizing the use of natural lighting. Okay, you use sunlight instead of uh, you know, light. Okay, to reduce cost of electrical consumption. 
installation of solar panels okay if you are, if you can afford it make solar panels because it's free energy okay and then rainwater harvesting what is rainwater harvesting you collect rainwater okay for whatever purpose okay for washing whatever okay maybe you can put a filter system at home and you can filter all this rainwater okay so that's it for this chapter again very short chapter okay basically this week is about calculating energy okay so let's look at the exercise Diagram below shows a refrigerator with power and voltage rating of 600 watt. Okay, so 600 watt here. 240 volt is switched on for 24 hours every day for a week. Okay, calculate the amount of energy used by the refrigerator. Okay, so how much energy is used here? So they already give you the formula here, KWH. It is power times time. So what's the power here? The power here is 600 watt. We don't use 600 watt, we use... 0.6 kilowatt okay change it to kilowatt first and then how many hours here uh 24 hours every day for a week so 24 hours per day for one week seven days uh this is one six eight hours okay so you times kw an hour so 0 0.6 times one six eight you should get 100.8 kwh okay so calculate the cost of using the refrigerator so each unit costs 20 cents so 0 0.2 times 100.8 kwh so what do you get uh, 20.16 i guess okay so you're paying 20 bucks to operate your fridge okay again this is not accurate why because your fridge is not switched on all the time do you know that your your fridge uh, if you're not using it they will switch off because it's not losing heat you're not opening and making the thing less cold so it's not working unless you open it like crazy every time that it will keep working okay so normally if you don't touch your fridge they will only come on like every few hours okay when the fridge is getting a bit less cold so it work and then make it cold again and then it will stop okay so it's not that much of an energy you're using for your fridge your fridge is not as it's not that that wasting electricity okay so don't go and say oh i don't need a fridge no you need it okay the one that's wasting a lot of energy is your aircon. Okay, so anyway, how much is the current use in the refrigerator? So I want my I, so I have my V, my V is 240. So I have my W, my W is 600. So remember P equals, oh, so this is not, W is a unit, sorry, this is my P. So P equals to VI, P is 600, V is 240, I we don't know. Okay, this is what we learned last week. So 600 divided by 24, uh, 240. Okay. So 600 divided, sorry, 600 divided by 240, what am I doing? Okay, 600 divided by 240, you should get 2.5, so 2.5A. Okay, simple. Next, an electric kettle labeled 240 volt, okay, this is my volt, 1000 watt, is used to use for boiling water for 30 minutes every day for 30 days okay so uh 30 minutes is like half an hour 0 0.5 hour okay for 30 days so total hour is how much okay 30 times 0 0.5 you get 15 hours okay so one month you use 15 hours of electric kettle so calculate the total cost okay if one unit is 25 cent okay so 1000 watt is one kilowatt okay so how many hours or oh, this working you can put it here lah. okay so one unit is one kilowatt times 15 hours okay so 15 kwh okay, or we say 15 unit okay so one unit is 25 cent okay so what do you get here mm, 26 point something sorry <sighs> Okay, 0 0.25 times 15. Okay, 3.75, sorry. So you are using 3 ringgit 75 cents to boil water. Alright, simple. So go and take your electricity bill at Calculacy. It's TNB cheating your money. Okay, so again, Mrs. Mary bought an electrical cooker with specification as shown below. The cooker is used to boil me for 2 hours. Okay, so here that's the watt, 1450 watt. Okay, calculate the current okay so i have my p here i have my v 
So I want my I. So P equals to VI. So 1450 equals to 220 times I. So what's my I? So 1450 divided by 220. So you should get 6.6. .6. Okay, 6.6a okay calculate the cost if one unit is 30 cent okay simple so um two hours okay the time is only two hours here okay and then for the power 1450 is equal to 1.45 kilowatt okay so 1.45 times 2, you should get 2.9 kWh. Okay, you use 2.9 units here. Each unit is 30 cent. So times 2.9, you should get uh, 0.87. Okay, you're using 87 cents to cook rice. Okay. So your home electricity bill has been going up lately. You and your family discussed to identify energy saving step. List two action from the discussion. Okay, so easy. Switch off appliances. Okay, when not in use. Okay, use LED bulbs. Ah, so many. Okay, just either two. Okay, take for correct way to conserve energy. Washing full load of clothing. Okay, correct. Wash only a few pieces. No. Switch off computer when not in use. Okay, correct. Okay, avoid leaving a standby. Okay, standby, you are still using energy. Yeah, so switch it off is the best way. Use energy efficient. Correct. Use the fan or aircon when the weather is cold. No. Fill electric kettle with maximum water every time you want to boil water. Of course, no. If you want to use 200 ml, then you boil 200 ml. Why you want to boil 1.7 liter and then the rest you just leave it to cold? You're wasting energy. Okay, choose to use the fan instead of aircon whenever possible, correct? Avoid opening the fridge for a long period of time. Yes, correct. Alright. So, that's it for this chapter. Quite easy if you ask me. Okay. So, uh, I hope you learned something today. Okay. Although being a very short chapter. Okay. So, you can refresh it back what we have learned here. Okay. Watch my videos. Okay. Watch my previous videos. Okay. Make yourself familiar with this. Okay. So uh, that's it for me this week. I will see you again next week. Next week, we might go into chapter 7. Or maybe we can go into revision. Okay, we'll see how. Okay, so that's it for me this week. See you again next week. Bye-bye.